what's up guys so i'm back again with a new video on this modern javascript for lwc development series so this video is coming after a very long time i mean this in this series we were having limited videos but uh, recently i found a very interesting topic that was worth sharing with you guys so that is a basic like a simple functionality but i'm not sure if we are really paying attention to it so in this video we'll be discussing about a deep copy or shallow copy in JavaScript like what is the difference between a deep ca deep copy and a shallow copy in JavaScript and uh, you might be already using it but trust me you might not be aware of the backend functionality of it the memory space it is going to use and uh, there are some other limitations also while you are doing these copies so in this video I'll show you what is a shallow copy in JavaScript and what is a deep copy in JavaScript and when and where you should use it okay so let's start this video let me just resize this yeah now it's fine <clears throat> okay so for this video guys i'll be using playcode.io so this is a free javascript learning platform where you can have an uh, open source id to you know run your code and test it so we'll choose JavaScript. <clears throat> okay, I'll remove all these things. Okay. So we'll start with the shallow copy in JavaScript. So basically, shallow copy is something where you can copy a variable into a new reference variable using assignment operator. You must have done this thing like, uh, let's say if you're assigning a variable to, assigning a value to variable A, let's assume equals to 10, and then you're assigning variable B uh, then you're assigning variable B uh, with variable A's value like B is equal to A. In that case, you are creating a shallow copy of variable A. In, in simple words, it will only store the value of the object it refers to. It is not going to store a new space in the memory allocation. It will be referring to the same location in the memory allocation. So that means both variables will be sharing the same memory allocation but it also means like both variables values will be getting changed together let's say if you will change something in the shallow copy it will be changed automatic in the original copy of that shallow copy also right for example let me show it to you so for example let's create a literal uh, let's say employee okay we'll use employee id employee one we'll use employee name and uh, employee address okay and let's say we are using salary also employee salary 50k okay now this we have created a little where we are having this name address id and salary okay let's try to print the values and we'll print employee so here you are able to see the value id name and address also and uh, you can see it here as well right now let me create a shallow copy of, of this employee variable so i'll create a new uh, variable here let's say copy employee okay and i will assign the employee value in it okay now if i will print this let me quickly copy this thing from here to here and here I can add a comment shallow copy okay copy employee and I will change it here as well so here also you are able to see the exact same values what you are having here 
So this is just a shallow copy of this parameter. It is not having its own separate space. It is just utilizing the same object memory what uh, values uh, the previous original uh, variable is having. Okay, but now uh, limitation or drawback of having this kind of shallow copy is so let's assume you are changing something in the copy. Okay, so. copy employee dot e name let's say i'm changing the name here and i have updated it to jack okay now after this if i will print again this original copy i mean the original variable and the duplicate one the copy one let me add another console here So this is after you have changed the values. So if you will notice in the original copy also, we have changed the value to Jack. Instead of my name, it is having Jack now and the shallow copy also we are having the same thing because it is utilizing the same memory space, whatever we are having here. Okay. Now a question could be then what would be the benefit of this copy, right? I mean, that should be the same question that will be coming into your mind while you are watching this video or checking out this example. So this was the simple way of doing uh, the shallow copy thing of creating a copy. Now there's another way of doing it using spread operator. If you are aware about spread operator, so using spread operators, you can spread the properties of your variable of your objects, right? In this modern JavaScript series, there is a video related to spread operators as well. So if you're not aware of it, do check it out. So instead of assigning it directly here, what we can do is we can spread its properties instead. Okay. So now I have added the shallow copy with the spread operator. And now if you will notice the after value change. So in the first original uh, parameter, we are having name as my name and the copy element, we are having the changed name here. So this is the benefit of using the spread operator whenever you need to change the values in the copy element or in the shallow copy parameter then in that case you can use the spread operator with it otherwise it will be just having the same values but still there's a limitation with this spread operator as well let me show it to you so this spread operator will only have the value the changed value until the first hierarchy of that object or of that array so for example, so currently there's no hierarchy here. I mean, these are the direct value assigned to here. But if I will change it, let's say if I'm changing the salary and here I'm having base salary, 40,000 and bonus. Okay, now here I have created a hierarchy here. So in salary also we are having two values. So now if you will try to change the salary so it will be changing the value in the original copy as well in the original parameter so using the spread operator also you will be able to just have it into the base hierarchy of that variable as well if your variable is having some internal arrays or some internal values as well you won't be able to maintain the separate copy of it so for example if we'll see here after value change then let me change salary as well. Copy employee dot e salary dot let's say if I'm changing the base, okay. And I'm making the base salary 50,000 now. Okay, now here if you will notice in the new element in the salary, you are having base salary 50,000, bonus is same. But if you will check in the original parameter as well, so the base salary has been changed, right? So that means using shallow copy, you can maintain the same uh, reference and you, you will be able to change it for the first hierarchy only. If you will go for further hierarchy levels, it will be changing it in the main 
the original one as well. So that is one drawback of using this spread operator with shallow power query, but still it is better than assigning the parameter directly and just creating a same reference clone for it, right? So this was the example of having this shallow copy in JavaScript. Another example I will be showing uh, to you will be the deep clone functionality, like what is the deep copy? So in shallow copy, as you have noticed, like the variables were using the same memory allocation, right? But in the deep copy, it will be a copy that will be creating a new object with new memory location. So it will be having its own memory for, for all its properties and nested objects and nested arrays, everything. It means that if you make any change to the copy object or any of its nested arrays or object, it will not affect the original object's value, okay? Like here in the deep, uh, in the shallow copy, you have seen like if you are changing the nested values, it is affecting the original copy. But in the deep copy, it won't be affecting the original copy. But of course, it is having its own drawback, like it will be having a separate uh, memory allocation space as well. For example, I'll just create a duplicate of it and I'll show you the deep clone, deep copy functionality as well. So let me quickly just copy the similar code from here to here. So this is the same code what we were having. Okay. Now what we'll do instead of the shallow copy, we'll be doing a deep copy here. So to, to do a deep copy of any parameter, the easiest way what we are having is to parse it using json.stringify. So what you can do is you can simply do json.parse then json.stringify and then you can have a parameter name which is employee. Now this copy employee is not a, I mean it is a copy but it is having a separate memory allocation for itself. Okay, let me just have it here deep copy. Okay, so here you, you can see the values are same, but if you will see the nested values in this after value change parameter, so here it is exact same values what it was having in its previous state and the copy element we are having the new value because this copy element is now having its own memory allocation space and uh, that's why it is not affecting the old memories, the old space what it was having. So, yeah, that was the deep copy guys and uh, I hope you were able to understand the difference between a shallow copy and deep copy. Now both are having, you know, their own benefits and drawbacks. So I would suggest you to use it as per a requirement if you need to, you know, if you think like you will be able to achieve your requirement uh, using a shallow copy using the same reference of the object then you should go for the shallow copy but whenever there's a requirement to have a new memory allocation space in that case you will be using this deep copy functionality so that it is for today guys i'll be having this complete code on my blog also which is salesforcebold.com if you want to check out the complete code again you can simply go to my blog salesforcebold.com and check it out and uh, that it is for today. If you like today's video, uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.